Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel, Yunus Shafir is here and in this video we are going to start a new series about Room Database in Android. In this video we are going to set up simple Android Studio project, what we are going to see in this mini series and some basic setup for different C's and so on. Let's get started. So we are going to use Jetpack Compose in this demonstration. We'll start by creating a new project here. Let's call it Room Database. We are going to use Kotlin and just create your project. Now here we have the documentation for the Room Database. Now keep in mind that Room isn't database itself. We are going to use something called SQLite. This is the official database in Android. But as I said, Room Library offers an abstraction over the SQLite. That's the main thing. That way it removes a lot of boilerplate code we had to write back in the days when we were using SQLite Open Hyper or something like that. So it allows for fluent database access. That's the thing about the room. In order to use the room database, we have to cover many topics. So here in this video series, we are going to see many components of the room database. First of all, in this video, we are going to start with simple setup. We'll see the required dependencies we need. And then we'll learn about something called entities. Enti like that. Entities are the tables in our database. We will see how we can configure them, use the primary keys, column references, and so on. Then we learn about something called the data access object, the DAOs. These are the objects responsible for querying these entities. We will see how we can cover them. And then we are going to see how we create the main database, which is the like room database, simple database. And using this database declaration, we will have to tell it about the entities we have, and also the DAOs here. And then we are going to see something called repositories. This object will allow us to abstract the data access in our database. We are going to see why we are going to need that using those with view model. And right after that, we are going to implement some dependency injection in order to provide the database and repositories and everything. So we can use this kind of thing inside the room. And then we are going to see some, some simple use case pattern usage in this kind of application. And finally, for the important stuff, we are going to see how we can test this room database inside Android. We are going to see how we can use in-memory database and of course, real database in order to verify its behavior. So this will result in multiple videos. And for the example we are going to work with a simple word application. We are going to create a database of words. This is an example from the Code Labs. If you go here to the Code Lab, let me check. So this is the official Code Lab from the Android team in which you are going to learn Room with a view, all right? But you are going to learn it with Jetpack Compose and a lot of other different things. I'm going to use the same example. We are going to have a list of words and the way to add words into the database and to show it again. So we are going to have the same example here with extra features to demonstrate other capabilities of the Room database. And now in order to insert the dependencies needed for this project, let's go here. Now there is multiple dependencies, so you have to keep in mind. First of all, we have like the main dependency, this one, this is the main dependency. And we have to use some annotation with that. For that, we are going to use either this annotation processor or this cap for code. So we're going to copy this one. Following, go here, here our project. We will clean this project later on. Go here to the build.gradle file. And here at the bottom, try to add this one. And then we will add also the cap, this one. But in order to use this one, we have to add another thing at the top, which is called in cap. This one, try to add this plugin. And for test, we are going to use this one. For the test, we are going to use in two versions for the test implementation and for the Android test implementation. Let's duplicate it like the following. And the other things are for, for example, for Rx Java. You can use Rx Java for the return types for the queries you want, for example. And also you can use this paging three integration in order to do some paging for your database. That's enough, I think. We can sync it. And that's all. We have our dependencies here. Now we are going to start using this database thing. So first of all, we have to create like a structure for our application. We are going to create a simple structure like there is this UI things here. I'm going to create another package called data. Usually the right way to modularize your application will be different from project to project. For it, this is a small project, we can do simple like that. But for a bigger project, it would be best if you can create many modules, separate modules like data module, the app module, which is responsible for the UI and everything. So here I'm having like this data. I'm going to create like, usually we have like some kind of remote data sources and local data sources. We are going just to have local data source in our application. And for this data, we are going to have module or package called models. And in this modules also, not the models, we are going to have a package called DAOs, like following. And yeah, basically that. Here in the documentation, they are telling about the main components of the Room database, as they said, we have the rule database, we have the data access object, and we have the entities. In the next video, I'm going to start writing our first entity, which is the word entity. 
So I'm not going to work on the UI until later on. So I'm going to start with the models, the AOs, databases. We're going to cover everything about that. And then we can go to the UI. So thanks a lot for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos. Assalamu alaikum.